now it's going to start getting gnarly. Get that grain running two directions at once there. And that wood's slick. Piece of leather down might help keep it from trying to run around so much. But it's slick. That walnut's hard and it starts to get shiny. Boy, it starts to get slick. Again here you're just kind of going for a fairly consistent cross section in your uh, bowl so that it's it'll just have a better chance of drying successfully and probably work less. Although I'm not real sure just how this is going to dry being right from the crotch of a tree, it could be kind of interesting. A lot of stress in the wood here, so it's it's probably going to do some things that we don't want it to do. Not much we can do about it right now. Like I said, I'm just trying to get it kind of down close. dries then I'll worry about making it really nicer. Shaving dries. Plugging your, your shave up. It's hard to cut. See this over here is just it's already thin and it's got an attitude. So I'm kind of working my way in there gingerly to try and fix this big tear. Not have a hole in the side of my hole. I thought getting these edges would be easier with the spoke shave, and I actually think it'd be easier with my knife. see that just catch and want to tear there. I go to a little shave and I might have more luck. Holding these, you can see the struggle in once you start getting into this. It starts to odd shapes are hard to hold. But they don't show you on Pinterest. Yeah, they don't show you that part on Pinterest. Guy getting mad throwing his bowl across the yard a couple times going and getting it. Dog whimpering. Dog whimpering. Campfire going with several bowls burning in it. Yeah, they don't show any of that stuff. All right there, it's going up, down, and backwards here. So this guy's got a pretty tight throat. Got that brass wear plate on there. I made this little shave up. It's made out of boxwood, piece of 01 tool steel for blade. Real handy little shave for getting in places and things, doing stuff that doesn't want to be done, basically, is where this little shave shines. 
And again, a lot of this that you're seeing right now is just the orneriness of this green wood. And once it's dry, it's going to lose a lot of this attitude. It's just not going to be near as able to do all the things it's doing right now. And so we still got a nice gouge over here we need to fix. Ah. I don't know, we might just go after that with a knife. But... Where did I put that? Come here, we're here. That's where I put it. That might be as easy a way to go after that as there is. And a lot of times, just a really good sharp carving knife take care of more problems than all the tools in the world. That spoke shave will get a hold of that wood and that throat. Everybody says, well, it's got a throat, so it's a safer tool. Well, yeah, it is to an extent, but it's not necessarily 100% of the time. I see that knife caught right there. That, there's a bow in that wood right there. I'm guessing that we're right in where that branch came off that tree, and it's literally like this is what we have for grain right here. And that's why it's just it's wanting to get a hold of that no matter what I do. So I'm going to do what I said earlier, is you just slowly. And if it tries to lift, then I'm going to reverse. It'll be much easier to get a finish on this once it's dried out than it is right now. It's just, it's just funky right now. We got most of all that out. I'm going to leave it now and let it set. Once it's dry, it'll be easier. Get it really nice. Here and we'll have to... and we'll see there we're just below center. We'll hope it doesn't split. I don't think it will. The bowl's pretty thin. And I don't think it can build enough stress up to split itself. And that's part of what causes wood to split. It has to have enough strength to pull against its own fibers with greater pressure than the fibers can resist. And, and that's part of the point of getting your bowl thin. We talk about that, getting that bowl down to where it's fairly thin. And by doing that, you're limiting how much strength that wood has to pull against itself. If you get it really thin, it just can't hardly crack because it's it doesn't have enough strength to pull against itself. That's how you want to think of it. That's one of the reasons we work to get them fairly thin and then also fairly consistent in cross-section so that it has about the same amount of strength everywhere. And that's the other thing then that keeps it from splitting. If it all pulls equally, it can't pull too hard. There we go. I think we're just basically done. Like I said, you could sit around and play with it all day, but it's uh, it's pretty close. <laughs>